right. Carl, good morning. Uh, Wednesday morning. It feels like a Tuesday, I guess, because of the long weekend. And uh, here we are. Uh, Spoo's down 17 from the overnight highs of 1348. Let's call it 1331. Now we got down to 26. 60 minute charts now are all broken again after uh, we made a push back to the year high of 1353. We didn't hit it. So you and I were just saying the, the, the bear case is starting to strengthen. Uh, the more times we kind of vacillate here near the highs, but not making uh, new highs, or if we even touch highs, we're going marginally higher. So things are kind of lining up. You still have gas through the roof. As, as you said, $4 plus gas hasn't moved in months. Just stuck here at $4, even after, you know, a $15 haircut from 115 to 102, 101, whatever it is right now. So, two cents, where are we? You mean as far as like ES? Well, just I, overall, I, give, give me give me your macro macro viewpoint. You know, again, we've talked. Well, I think the data is starting to turn that ultimately we are going to slow down. The data is showing that that we're going to follow the rest of the world. Um, we're now the tail tail that's being wagged by the dog, so to speak. We're exporting all this stuff, right? So all the bulls, the bullish cases that. We're now the exporters of all this stuff, and everybody's buying our stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, fine, if that's your thesis. So we're exporting um, inflation. It, it will get imported back to us eventually, somehow, yeah. some way. Always does. Right. So, so. Y- y- again, we've talked a little bit. You know, you and I, I think, have been bearish but unwilling to put on a position. I think both of us last week talked a little bit how we're, I, I was putting on some bearish spreads. Uh, calendar spreads. I think you're doing the same thing out a few, you know, out a quarter or so on the ES side of things. You know, the case for me is starting to build a little bit for some type of for some type of uh, real sell up. And, and by that, I still think uh, you know, 10 to 15 percent could be seen here this summer because nobody expects it. So. Um, you know, and then you get into the we're, we're we're really coming into really less than a year and a quarter now from election 2012. So all these things are piling on, and and nothing's going to be getting done governmentally, which you know nothing gets done anyways. But now it really comes to a standstill as we uh, ramp up the uh, election pro- process here. There's no way they're going to do QE3 right here, right now. I, I know all these people talk about this. Do I have any doubt that they're going to do it? I have no doubt that they'll be forced to do it. The, the, feds, the people will be clamoring for QE3. Yeah, but you know, um, you, you but it where, can't happen now. I agree, but here's where, you, you know, I agree with you, and it won't happen now. Here's where QE3 will happen. It will happen at, a, at the next big sell-off, 15 20%. 10 to 20 percent. And I, so, I'm on board with that, yeah. But somewhere, all, somewhere know, in there, you have people that are every day when the market starts to ramp QE, QE3, I'm like, good Lord, please. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, patience, so now. Patience, grasshopper, patience, grasshopper. Exactly. It will come. I think, but I think yeah. what you will, you, you, you'll get the, you'll get the uh, reflux from the masses after you get another big 10 to 20 percent sell up. That's not going to be that big, but that's when you'll get the QE3 again jammed through once all the masses and, uh, you know, the, the Grand Rapids Gazette is talking about it and every little local paper is talking about it. Then QE3 will get jammed through, but not until then. And it may happen, you know, it may be the, uh, you know, the final seal for, uh, Obama's re-election campaign and, in, in 12, but, uh, it will happen probably before the election. He'll jam it through. Oh. Yeah, they'll time it. They'll, they'll time it, right? Yeah. Timing. Timing is everything. So got to get the most out of it, just like we're trying to get the most out of QE2 right now. That's what's going on. Right. So. Right. So oil up again, expensive summer for uh, vacationers. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, the early indications here in uh, resort town, uh, the early Memorial weekend, it was quite busy around here. Restaurants, concerts. We had, you know, we have an outdoor venue that had two big shows and both had probably we, we, you know, maximum capacity holds maybe around seventy-five to eight thousand. I think both shows were packed to the gills. So, people are out spending money, and, and you know, people are out spending money, man. No doubt about it. I yeah. see it all the time. But I think that speaks volumes to complacency in our society. Right. Speaks volumes. Now, I, I'm guilty of the same thing. I'm going to the Abacos for a month this summer, but you know. We got jobs Friday. Uh, the jobs number will probably be juiced again. Kick it off early June. We had a terrible ADP number, which is useless today. But I think the number, as you do also, Carl, on Friday will be 
you know, uh, massage to the upside, probably be a surprise, get a little bump from it. Maybe that's the, you know, one of the last flings here for uh, the summer. Already June 1st today, uh, you know, before you know it, we'll be coming into the 4th of July. Um, it's not a very good sign for the first month of the quarter to trade like this, is it? Or, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to think like, <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, and, like you, know, you said, it was a squishy open, right? It was a really squishy open, and, and you know, it really, the prints yesterday into the close were squishy soft, too, as they just took the, you know, everybody just backed away and said, you know, I'm walking away. They're not going to sell it, but, uh, you know, we're, we're making a new low over yesterday's low. We're, we're touching, um, you know, we're, we're getting back to where we were at the end of the week again. They're right at 13.30, so I, you're saying 13.18. I'd like to see. Uh, yeah, break 18 and I'll be impressed. I'd like to see so. 13, you know, 13.30 first on a close, then 13.15 area, right? And then, you know, maybe again, uh, a 10% pullback from 13.50 still gets you to, the, what, 12.20 or so. Uh, that would be, that would wake up some people. We still haven't had any, we, we haven't had a wake up in a long time. It's been, you know, really a long time since we've had a 10 plus percentage pullback. Two plus years. Long time. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the spin with the media. They always try to spin these numbers like these past few days. Boy, that just eats me alive how they try to spin all this stuff. Yeah. So, so the other thing we were talking about real quickly is, again, you know, the housing continues to be a struggle. You can't compare, again, real quickly, let's just sum this up. You cannot compare housing cyclically to anything we've ever seen, I don't think, in our history because you have so many factors. You have a credit situation that is never coming back. That, that's what created the bubble. It still hasn't been unwound. It still hasn't, uh, you know, you said how many houses? Five million sitting uh, shadowed? No, no, I said I figure about 51 months nationally hidden inventory. Excuse that's me. what I'm... 51 yeah. months. 51 yeah, months hidden. Months, man. But, they, but then on top of that, you have, you know, the, the census information coming out showing very clearly the demographics and the trends are such that you've got such an upside down you know, 45 to 75 year old marketplace who's going to be dumping their homes, those baby boomers. And you have a, a, a decreasing amount of youth, 15 to 45, coming up on the flip side. So you've had that totally reverse, and just the numbers don't allow for that 51 months and increasingly uh, num- growing number to uh, expand. So, you know, we have, we have 51 months. If you say that's number today, it's only going to get wider. So, it's going to be a challenge for years, I mean, if not decades. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. If you have any any more comments, uh, let, let's put them out there. I mean, I mean, we can we can elaborate a little bit more about this at, at a later time. But I think it is important. I understand it's a known, but the effects of this known we have not yet felt, and there's pain ahead. So. All right, take your pain. 12 to 18 percent more to go, baby. 12 to 18 percent more to go in the housing market. The markets uh, go further than you expect. What do you recommend for the pain pills, Percocet? What do you What do you value? No, no, I'd probably do an oxy combo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Until next time. All right, see. You.